Hey everybody, just doing a follow up on my last video, um, showing my progress that I've made so far. Um, so what I've done is I stripped the motherboard, um, I removed the controller ports and the USB ports from it, um, tried to clean it up, you know, make it smooth so it wasn't like sharp edges and didn't look too janky. I tried to kind of um, sand sand it a little bit but it didn't really come out great so i might just actually um throw throw um some spray paint on it or something just paint it black just to kind of hide it <clears throat> and then let's see um yeah i stripped the inside of this out the biggest thing one of the biggest hurdles i overcame was um trying to figure out how i was going to mount the pie to the inside here um and i found out that this is like a little pro tip um if anyone wants to steal this idea so there's these face plates you can buy from any hardware store. They're like really cheap, 99 cents maybe. Um, and yeah, they're just plastic, you know. Um, I had to trim the bottoms and the sides to get to fit in this location, but um, there's a little bit of a gap inside, so you can throw some screws in through your pie to that, and it still won't hit the bottom. Um, and there's you can get blank ones, so they're all it's all flush. There's no hole in the middle, but I got I used the one with the hole in the middle for you know for cooling or whatever. But um, but yeah, I threw some. I cut it up, cut it in a size that'll fit. And uh, I found some little screws. I don't know what size they are, but I know they fit through the little raspberry pie holes. That sounded dirty. Um, and then. I cut out a little notch for the SD card, and then in the once I figure out its final location, I did actually cut into the case. I really didn't want to if I didn't have to, but I needed uh, to get to the SD slot. So if you put the if you put it in here, you can get to it pretty not pretty easily actually, not too bad. Um, yeah, so. I'll probably spend some more time filing it and stuff, but I did smooth the edges down and stuff, so it's not too bad. But, um, so there's that. Um, here's my little temporary, like, raspberry pie, so I'm not messing with it too much, getting it dirty and stuff or whatever. Um, I might throw these, these little rubber pads, I might throw these in, um, in between the, the pie and the little plate there. But, um, we'll see. I'm gonna have to cut them in half because they're too thick. But, so, uh, one of the big things I worked on also was this, uh, power board. And I gotta say, I gotta thank everybody who's been helping me with that on the forums. It's been awesome. We've been, like, looking at schematics and stuff, and everyone's been helping me. Um, it's been really great, and I can't, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Because I'm not very, I'm more of, like, the, the handyman, like, you know, doing the, the, figuring out where it's going to fit and stuff and everything like that. But when it comes to electronics, I'm still a pretty big novice. So I really appreciate everyone's help on the forums for, for kind of uh, help me figure out the wiring. But so I did manage to, um, you can see I split the end so I can test each pin separately. Um, and I managed to figure out which ones, the, which pins are the power and which ones are the LEDs. The IR sensor might be a bust but we'll see we'll see about that and so this the uh, digital out um, I don't know if you can see inside of it but I'm still waiting on my um, my extension cable for the composite but I did make the hole bigger so it'll at least fit a plug inside uh, I wanted to keep this little hinge door here I thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of like have it be stealth you know but eh, it's not gonna work it's too it's too small so I'm probably gonna have to take this door out but it'll still, you know, retain its shape on the outside to fit in its slot here so I can have it there, you know. Uh, this is the barrel jack. I i don't know if this is the same size as the barrel plug I ordered. So I might have to remove this pin in the middle and throw a drill, like, inside here and just make it a little bit bigger to fit the, to fit the new barrel jack plug I got. But we'll see. Uh, this is going to be for the HDMI. This fits over here, like right here in the board. Um, 
I'm also waiting on the HDMI extension cable, so won't be able to put that in yet. But here's this metal shield that went inside of it as well. Um, I don't know if there's going to be enough space for it, so I have it just in case. But if not, I can just use this, and it'll. I'm going to glue it right here. Bada boom, good there. And here's the Ethernet, um, nicely stripped out of the board. So I'll probably just. Um, now that I know the final location for the Pi, I'll probably start figuring out wiring and everything like that. And I'll just uh, have a sacrificial Ethernet cable that I have, and I'll trim it and solder it up to this, and it should be good. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail, a bunch of extension cables and wires and stuff. And then once I get those, I can really start going. Um, and also i got to think about paint and everything like that, how I'm going to paint it. So... But if you guys have any suggestions, I was thinking making it vintage retro, making it silver with wood panels. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, but I'm definitely open for suggestions on what you think. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, LGR, the uh, YouTube channel LGR, Lazy Game Reviews. And he he likes the wood panel stuff too, so I think that's pretty sweet. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I'm still working on the power 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 board and everything like that but I, I have people on the forums are helping me with it and uh anybody else wants to come and suggest things and and what you think i should do um come on over and let me know but uh thanks for watching everybody bye